A message to Imran Khan from Muhammad Qasim bin Hamdi Prim. You are our leader. You are our captain. You are our prime minister. You are the one that says La ilaha illallah. You were the leader of a country that says La ilaha illallah. You had so many promises and you could have done so many things. So why did you not fulfill your promises? Why did your term and your government fail? Didn't we warn you in 2018 that this would happen? Today I want to address you Imran Khan and I want to address your cabinet. So pay close attention to what I have to say. Didn't Muhammad Qasim tell you in 2018 that you would fail due to the incompetencies of your party and ministers and the misunderstandings of your system? Didn't Muhammad Qasim warn that he will bring that a big lightning will come down on your house and your allies? Didn't your government blackmail you? Didn't we also tell you the opposition parties and corrupt mafia will not allow Imran Khan to work? Every word we said and every warning is proven today, truer and truer. You can see on your screen that we had this dream in 2018 and word for word the same thing is happening. And today Imran Khan has also admitted that it has taken him a year and a half to understand the system. And if anyone was in his place, he would not have been able to do anything. In a way, he has already acknowledged his defeat. Imran Khan says that it took him three months only to understand everything. And when he saw everything from the outside, it was very different than when it was th than the inside of the government. This is for a year and a half. We did not know the actual figures. Sometimes the figures could come from ministry and we thought it was doing very well. Well, and then when we actually saw the real figures had come, it was very different. Mr. Imran Khan, you were scared at the time of election that you did not know whether you will be able to become the Prime Minister or not. So you preferred to form an undefined and weak government. You should have dissolved assemblies that would not have been able to be blackmailed by your allies and other entities. Now it seems to us, according to Muhammad Qasim's dreams, Imran Khan should not say that if anyone could do a better job than me, he should come. Mr. Imran Khan used to give examples of Hazrat Umar anhu, while speaking in favor of the poor. Now your government has forced the poor to commit suicide and you have forced the people to say the previous government has done better than your government and the poor are right to say that he does not care how much you reduce the current deficit rather he just wants to see his starving children and dying children fed and taken care of. And Ron Khan ultimately the message that we have to say is that your government has come to a failure because you represent a country that says la ilaha illallah and you state la ilaha illallah but your actions are otherwise. You have bowed down to graves and to shrines, not in only one occasion, but two occasions. And this is not befitting for anybody to carry the title of La ilaha illallah and to carry the country of La ilaha illallah to do this. For indeed, no one should be worshipped and nobody should be bowed down upon except Allah, the Almighty. Therefore, we say Imran Khan, we do not wish you harm, or we do not wish ill of you. We just wish this message would have reached you earlier, for indeed if it has, you would have probably made or taken better actions than you have. Indeed you are still alive and the door for Tauba is always open, and we do hope that the future has better for you. And with that we say Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh, and we would advise you and the Pakistani people to listen to the dreams of Muhammad Qasim and Abdul Karim for indeed it has come true and for indeed it is a warning as well as a blessing for all the Muslim people especially for the Muslims of Pakistan Wassalamu alaikum